Welcome everybody to the first video of Game Raiders Week number two. If you don't know what Game Raiders Week is, it's where I just upload every day consistently and even stream on some of those days. But here we are, we're starting off this first video of this week, opening loot bags and seeing what I get from opening a hundred of each loot bag. And you may be like, Game Raiders, what do you mean each loot bag? There's not just one loot bag. There's six different tiers all added in from the loot bag mod. It's just called loot bags, plain and simple. But as you can see, tier one, tier Tier 2, Tier 3, Tier 4, Tier 5, and Tier 6. Now, all of these loot bags are obtained after a certain point in time, and you randomly get them. And Tier 6 is post Moon Lord or around Moon Lord. It's one of those. This one I think is near Plantera. This one I think is at the beginning of hard mode. But we're going to open 100 of each, and we're going to see what kind of loot we get from this. And I'm hoping it's going to be a good loot. You know, this seems like a mod that I could add into either like the challenge series or add it into a future mod pack i don't know we'll see but let's start popping open some of these bags all right so we got tier one tier one loot bag you know i got a couple extra chests because i don't know how much is gonna fill our inventory up but let's see let's just open it up let's see our first first item that we get boom all right it's just amber not too bad early game that would be very useful but uh let's go ahead let's do like let's do up to 50 damn our inventory is filling up fast we got our, our callus in there so we did up to 55 and as you can see the loot is really really good <laughs> i mean assuming that you only get a couple of these at a time and not like a hundred obviously at once you might just end up with i don't know novice core which is used in crafting tier one gear you might just end up with a rally you might end up with just mushrooms but some of the loot we got in here there's even event exclusive loot like the blade glove the candy cane sword we, we got an enchanted sword sandstorm in a bottle is really good our callus of course our callus is good who does love our callus but that's just 45 bags and that's the loot we got all right let's open up the last 55 if possible if all this can fit in our inventory look at that we got a fart in a jar flying carpet this is also really good the counterweight because if you can't find a skeleton merchant counterweight is great snowball cannon star fury like this you can even get boss spawns from this which is really really good but look at that not bad at all uh let's go ahead let's open up the last 11 and not too bad at all with that last 11. We did get Candy Cane Hook, which is great early game. Shiny Red Balloon, also great. Shark Tooth Necklace, a great early game accessory for armor pen. The loot for the tier one bag is not that bad at all. Let's just, let's take a look at just everything as a whole. So we got chest number one here. It's filled with all of these goodies, our callus. Uh, we got the Ice Boomerang, Candy Cane Sword, Slime Staff, Cloud in a, or Sandstorm in a bottle, Chanted Sword. This one, we got Fart in a bottle. Candy cane hook, red balloon, shark tooth necklace, ice blade, snowball cannon, counterweight, star fury. So, so far, 100 tier 1 loot bags seems like it's pretty god tier. Now, what happens when we open tier 2 loot bags and tier 3 and tier 4? Imagine when we open post moon lord ones. All right, so we're moving on to the tier 2 loot bags. Let's see what goodies we can get our hands on here. Let's try and open 50. The goal is to open 50 each. So, these are tier 2, right? This is a tier. You get this in pre hard mode, which is always amazes me because i'll be honest i really don't care about this weapon but uh boom that's not bad at all we got actuators that kind of that's kind of a waste of a loot bag imagine opening a loot bag and you got actuators that shit would be ass <laughs> what even is that oh it's the apprentice core okay look at that we were able to open 50 exactly 50 and we didn't fill up our inventory which may be a bad thing but some of these items are pretty good the sun fury very good item uh okay if i'm being honest the sun fury and the bat hook look like the only good items but uh, maybe i'm being too harsh so it's seeming like the loot for this half or for this tier is not the greatest tier two obviously looking like it could be skippable so so here we are we're gonna move on to tier three which i'm assuming is now hard mode yes it is oh this might be really good hard mode items might be really good look at some of these let's open up 50 if possible the loot pool is very big if it go if i can't even open 50 but look at that magic dagger great early hard mode weapon uh blessed apple moon charm dao pow you can get from this poison staff slap hand who doesn't love the slap hand medusa's head is a really great item spawners ores bars really really good so far way better than tier two tier one is still pretty good though it's given that tier one obviously is pre hard mode early pre hard mode you can get some goodies but let's see if we can open up the last 54 here without filling our inventory that's like a little goal i have here is not fill up our inventory get it to be perfect 
there's no way this one's gonna be perfect but look at that pocket mirror yo-yo glove very good actually more keys keys are always good you know less souls you have to spend on making them it's seeming like tier three is like the second best so far but we haven't really gotten into the you know the the next tier and that's four five and six which i'm assuming are gonna be literally the best especially tier six but yeah open in the last couple nimbus rod's always a good item but boom tier tier three i'm gonna give that i'm gonna give that second place i think second place is good uh tier one i'm still putting this in first place and then tier two i'm putting that in third place all right so i'm really hoping that from four onward we're just gonna get some insane loot imagine if this had modded compatibility Ooh, things might be a little op if they weren't op already i don't know how easy it is to get your hands on these bags themselves though but yeah let's go ahead let's start opening them okay. look at that. 50 exactly filled out my inventory perfectly these items are great they dollar stormbow do i even need to say anything about the dollar stormbow we all know about the dollar stormbow if you play terraria you know how good this weapon is fetid bang bag bag nox Baca bacock nox i don't know <laughs> so we're gonna open the last 50 tier 4 loot bags let's see what kind of goodies we can still get our hands on we got some moonstones flying knife which is really cool it's a very underrated weapon i think most of the chest mimic weapons are underrated besides the data all stormbow but we got six more bags left six more bags so let's toss those in there and we got pretty much the same old same old stuff not bad not bad loot at all this is probably some of the better loot obviously because it's higher tiered but uh i don't know maybe this one gets the new second place i gave tier three second place I, yeah i think tier four is gonna take the second place i'm still putting the tier one at first place because some of this loot you can get for a tier one loot bag is insane tier five time what kind of goodies can we get from tier five so this is what late hard mode now this should be some really good stuff coming up but look at this so far it's not bad at all discount card great item ectoplasm good way to farm ectoplasm beetle husk anti-gravity hook really cool hook the pulse bow i think this is a very underused item the influx waiver do i need to say anything about this weapon goaded that weapon is goaded lizard egg nail gun tactical shotgun paladin's hammer great weapon uh shadow beam staff great for any mage character but yeah last 14 bags last 14 bags what kind of goodies can I get surprised with? Ooh, a paladin shield and both an onk charm. I'm excited for this, honestly. Tier six loot bag these are they better have the best loot ever i'm talking about we better see post moon lord item because i'll be honest i don't like farming the moon lord no it's not the hardest boss battle but like it gets kind of boring farming bosses sometimes oh look at that speak about farming fragments oh hell no i hate farming fragments <laughs> that's why i got a lot of mods in my mod packs that help me bypass farming fragments because that sucks yo drill containment unit from loot bags that's that's pretty good not to mention you know obviously the moon lord treasure bag loot too a hook lunar hook is always good i usually don't make them but yeah the fragments are great containment unit that's really insane that you can get your hands on containment unit uh companion cube also a fairly rare item in terms of you know the merchant if they have it on them bone key you guys know how you get the bone key you gotta beat the uh dungeon guardian we also got the golden hook which is a really good fishing rod but yeah as expected it's post moon lord vanilla terraria items so honestly it's nothing crazy the, i think the craziest thing though is definitely the drill containment unit because this thing i've only gotten once ever in my terraria playthroughs once ever and uh this item is just amazing so this mount is just amazing i love i love the drill containment unit but yeah that was opening all six tiers of loot bags like i said i don't know i haven't looked into it but if there's a modded compatible version that would be fucking insane the like amount of loot you can get would be endless like in terms of what you can get it's so random but it would be so cool now there is one more loot bag and that is die loot bag let's open up like 10 of them because i'm pretty sure you guys will have an idea what drops from this it's just dies <laughs> but dies are a really good way to farm money so you know if you want to get your hands on some easy money or if you just want to get your hands on some die that's harder to get look i look <laughs> I look like I'm HD. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this first video of Game Raiders week number two. This is the second week. Uh, the first week I just uploaded every day, you know, kept up with that schedule. And we got, I got a lot of good videos coming off. A lot of, all the videos this week, not even a lot of them, all of them are gonna be videos like this, you know, one-off Terraria videos where I do something funny, where I do something interesting, where I do something cool. And I got some ideas planned, all right? What the fuck is going on with this die?